Thank you very much. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, standing in established protocols. As a result of the almost universal accessibility of the electronic media to the masses of the population, the electronic media wield enormous influence in the shaping of public opinion on social, economic, religious, and political issues. It has been observed that we are living in a media-saturated society, and studies have shown that watching television is by far the most popular leisure pas pastime, taking up about 28 hours a week of the average viewer's time in the United Kingdom, and more than 30 hours a week for the average viewer of the United States of America. Consumer choices, as well as political preferences, are largely determined by radio and television in the advanced countries. A study conducted in Ghana revealed that a good number of the people sampled were of the view that they were able to monitor a lot of what happened on political arena via the media. A typical answer a respondent gave in response to the question in relation to the media and the Ghanaian political process was as follows. Before I leave my house in the morning, I pick the morning news on radio, and before I think of breakfast, on my way to work, I buy a number of newspapers to read during the break and work, and while I'm working, I tune my radio to various stations for interesting discussions on politics. The media in general, and TV in particular, are incomparably the greatest single influence in our society. And no doubt, TV3 has offered much that is positive to the political process, including broader knowledge of the political dynamics of the society and a more informed insight into the process of democratic governance in the country. TV3 has over the years stood to the test in spite of the aforementioned, in spite of the challenges of media ethics. Your expansion evidenced by what we are about to launch, the great thing that is to happen, must draw from management and staff a high sense of professionalism and a keen observance of media ethics and qualitative educative and entertaining programs. In 36 days, we shall be going to the polls. Your call to service must be defined and informed by objectivity, evidence-based reportage, and critical analysis of issues that will facilitate informed choice of leadership by your viewers and listeners and peaceful elections during and after the event. Congratulations for this great thing we're about to launch. <laughs> 